So there's no reason for the Coast Guard to be blowing up my phone three times a day from three different numbers out of Tampa, just harassing us for no reason. Blowing up the phone, a controversial boat party in hot water with the Coast Guard, a regular event known as the Sandbar Extravaganza, or Extravaganza if you're feeling fancy, getting the attention of the Lee County Sheriff's Office last September. The party barge with live music and hundreds of anchored boats attracting a very heavy deputy presence and a DUI checkpoint waiting for them at the Punta Rossa dock. Well, now the Coast Guard is insisting organizers register that event with their agency. But as four in your corners warned, right? Explains one organizer believes the Coast Guard doesn't have the authority to tell them what to do. War. Organizers of the Sandbar Extravaganza want to have one last summer fling on Labor Day. The event is a real crowd pleaser. More than 3,500 people have been known to dive in for a fun time on the water. And the businesses that sponsor it say it's good for the economy during the off season. But organizers say the Coast Guard wants to sink their party boat. They come by the boatloads to the Sandbar Extravaganza. Anchored in Pine Island Sound, more than 3,000 people soaking up the sun and fun on the water. But after a series of phone calls and emails like this one from the U.S. Coast Guard, one of the organizers, Dan Sinclair, fears their good times could soon sink. And we've offered to sit down with them. We've offered to work with them. We've offered to discuss the plan. But it seems like they're just trying to push us around. The Coast Guard out of Tampa sent this letter stating the Coast Guard has some concerns with the amount of expected participants and is demanding the organizers submit a marine event application so appropriate measures can be taken to protect and monitor this event. And they keep shoving an application down our throats, which has nothing to do with our event. We ran it past our lawyers and our lawyer said we don't need to fill in the application. In the letter, the Coast Guard argues a permit is required for any event that generates more than 50 participating vessels or more than 50 swimmers. And a representative from the Coast Guard told me he's called at least 10 times, wanting to make sure a permit is submitted. But Sinclair questions the Coast Guard's jurisdiction in this case, saying the event will take place on state, not federal waters. And since last September's party, Sinclair says he's worked closely with the Lee County Sheriff's Office to provide extra supervision and safety. So there's no reason for the Coast Guard to be blowing up my phone three times a day from three different numbers out of Tampa, just harassing us for no reason. Now, at this point, the organizers aren't sure if they're actually going to go through with the party. Several sponsors have already contributed, saying the Sandbar Extravaganzas have brought in close to a million dollars to the local economy, from running boats to packing a picnic. Warren Wright, Fox 4, in your corner. All right, thank you, Warren. What do you think? Should this party continue? The party's organizer be required to register with the Coast Guard? Or do you think he's being harassed, as he said? They're blowing up his phone, as he put it. 239-206-FOX4 or email news at fox4now.com.